nothing in this moment. We have all seen he's, he came off, but uh, with an injury like this, um, we always have to wait a minimum 24 hours. Then the medical can do the job, and then they can uh, set the diagnose. You look pretty upset though. You seem to think this World Cup though. Yeah, I can understand. Eh? And we all probably can understand. It would be emotional, but uh, I think also he has to wait. You you don't know. Eh? But of course, he's experienced. But uh, medical um, has to do the job. You have to make the assessment and set the right um, diagnose, and from there on eh, it can come uh, a, a conclusion. Of course, it is a big moment um, in that matter to get uh, a point, yeah, that, uh, to collect that point, and it was, I think, a well-deserved point. Um, but um, it uh, doesn't have any matter with the with the uh, causes what you mean uh, with that case, uh, because it's more important to have the right culture, so to have the right uh, standards and values, who you have to live along. Um, so for the longer term, it's always more important, and that in the end will bring you uh, the right position. And I'm happy with this game. Uh, first half, I think um, we did quite well. We dictated the game. Uh, we created the chances. Uh, I think there were three uh, really good chances. One has to be in. Then uh, they switch system. And obviously, uh, we're losing just before halftime a little bit control in the game. But after halftime, defense, we were again well organized, but on the ball, and we were less good as the first half. Uh, so I, I thought in the end, uh, um, one point each was a fair result, and then, then the outcome is 1-1, okay, and we have to live with that, and I'm happy with that as well. Samuel. That is why he, uh, we brought him in, and we know he's capable to do that. He's, uh, he proved this in Spain, he proved it in the Champions League, uh, so the highest level. So uh, he could do also do it in the Premier League. Uh, all, but uh, it's clear, Premier League is a different league, uh, with especially the intensity. So he, need, uh, he needed a short period to, uh, to adapt to that. And now from game to game, you see him growing. And and you see how important it is for our game. Uh, he brings the composure, um, he brings the organization, and then uh, when he then also even scores a goal, uh, that, yeah, that bring, uh, then you bring a lot to a team. I think that's. I think also that's why I'm happy in this stage of the season with this point when you are capable uh, to fight back like we did, and we did it last week um, against uh, Ammonia uh, to get the win. Uh, we did it um, today after uh, you um, you are down, uh, you uh, uh, you are you give resilience, uh, you show resilience, and that is a really big theme for uh, big teams uh, to have that in your in, in your capabilities and also therefore uh, that is what Casimiro among others is bringing into the squad and in, into this team. Sorry. Hey. Hi. Uh, issues, uh, decisions on the ball, but it's n not that, n not that uh, strange. It's our fourth game um, in ten days, and then maybe the freshness, and we had to switch to a system that we only faced one time. It was against Sochi that first half, uh, but we didn't make the right decisions on the ball. Uh, second half, we didn't s uh, switch enough, and then when we came in the final third, uh, we were a little bit uh, uncomposed, and and not show the composure and 
and patience, then I'm sure we will create also in the second half more chances against this Chelsea, but we didn't. Uh, but uh, I think also we didn't concede big chances. Uh, so that was the good thing. And then I think a point was a fair result. Yeah, but it's the fourth, once again, fourth game in 10 days. And then you see, especially uh, with the strikers, there's a little bit lack of, of freshness. Um, and especially in the end, also the power then, you get a lack of, and uh, we, we didn't score the goals. So we already had to score first half, and then um, you make your life easier. Um, but you, when you get away after you are cut down here in uh, Stamford Bridge, I think that's good. There's one here. I appreciate you've been very wrapped up in the game, but a homophobic chant we've heard several times from the United fans. How, how disappointed are you that that happened? I think it, it doesn't belong in the stands, but um, when I call the stands, when I mention the stands, I mean the whole stadium because also when I think when Rafa Faran came out, eh, it was the same uh, on the other side, um, the Chelsea fans, so we all uh, don't do it. Over there. Um, do, do you think that McTominay was foolish in the penalty? I have to see it back, and then I, uh, I will tell him. But yeah, I think the, the ref have um, considered the situation, and he made um, his decision. The VAR didn't make, um, didn't came on the line, so we have to accept it. Question here. Uh, that was a good part and it was um, in um, in the game and yeah it's part of our philosophy uh, to dominate the games like this and especially when you can do it against a team as Chelsea with one is the best one of the best teams in the Premier League uh, that gives um, uh, a good feeling and um, so now we have to do it um, over 90 minutes even when an opponent is switching systems that um, doesn't have to take influence. Okay, last question. Eric, um, Rashford against Liverpool looked energised. Rashford against Arsenal looked energised. He was a threat again today. How have you re-energised him? Because he didn't. He was flatlining last season. I don't know last season, but <laughs> I'm really happy with the, the energy he is bringing this year uh, in our uh, team. So I'm really happy with his performance every time again. Uh, down the middle is his best position? He can play, I think, in the, uh, in the front, a striker, all the positions. Doesn't matter where. Thank you very much. Yeah? Okay, cool.